I, I will say this. I also run premier properties here in town. We've got a property management division in which we've got about 300 housing units, and they are booked solid during those and, and every other room. So there, there's even more than the 1,700. Uh, the revenue here, I, I, I know you want to head the other direction, but I will say those numbers, I think, are skewed in the lower of what people actually spend here in this community. It's not even close to me being $65. It's, it's, I, I think those numbers are way higher. Yes, Dave. Dave Baldwin, uh, one of the things I think is important this committee look at is uh, maintaining the, the, the uh, maintainability or the stability of the, of, the, of the facilities here, too. There's nothing in the budgets on a recurring basis for maintenance. So we've, over the years, because of the economy, have foregone a lot of maintenance issues that we've seen. And I think this is really one of the most, I would think, one of the top three uh, issues of how this committee needs to address how you're going to maintain these facilities. We've got fair facilities now, but they're going to de degrade if we don't start putting some capital improvements in them. And that's with any business. You've got, you've got to expand your equipment. You've got to replace equipment. You've got to do maintenance that we're, we're foregoing and so in two to three years we're going to have facilities that nobody's going to want to use no matter how cheap they are so I think it's very important that we uh, we start looking at uh, this committee structuring a some type of capital improvement funds otherwise uh, we're not going to maintain what we've got in the back row you had a question it's not a, it's not a question so much I'm Lindsay Hewlett thank you Lindsay I'm with FC Mesquite Soccer it's not so much a question as I, there's another city citizen here that wanted to share um, some comments from a local restaurant or market. It's the, the Mexicana market. I don't know if this is an appropriate time or not to share what they wrote. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. No, go right ahead. I think that their plans were actually to come tomorrow night, or meet tomorrow night. Um, and so instead, he, he quickly came today and just brought this letter. Um, it was to addressed actually to the mayor and council and chamber of commerce and the committee. I'm writing to you as a business owner and member of the Mesquite community, I'm asking you to please begin to focus on the use of our city's recreational facilities as a financial asset rather than a physical asset. As a business owner who pays both sales and property taxes to the city, I can assure you that the city's recreational field, uh, facilities are full. Um, so is my store and restaurant. And my store is full, so is my cash register, which means more sales tax and more money to pay my employees and property taxes. I implore you to do more to encourage and support persons and groups that are willing to host tournaments, camps, and other activities at our recreational facilities. I implore you to use the Mesquite Sports and Events Complex for more soccer and more football and other events for both adults and youth. As a business owner and taxpayer, I feel that the Events complex has been underutilized as a financial asset for this community. When the events complex is being used, our city is full. So are the hotels, the businesses, and the restaurants. Please put forth a plan to better use use the recreational facilities in our city. Thank you for your consideration. La Mexicana Market. Anyway, we just wanted to share that. Of course, the Latino community is um, a big part of the, our soccer program as well. The excitement that we see as it grows each season, spring, and then again it grew again in the fall. It was it's really exciting. I and mean, I'm a mother of two children myself. We both play soccer. I'm also a city employee. It's exciting. And we have such a strong community of volunteers, not just employees, but volunteers who give hours and hours and hours. So we appreciate the, the partnership between the city and volunteering. Yes, um, we need to have you come up to when you're going to speak so that we can capture on microphone. So if you could please step up. Can we, can we get a copy of your letter? We were unable to capture because you're so soft spoken. Oh, and go, yeah, no, that's fine. And going forward, if people want to speak, if they could please come to the front of the room so that we can hear. His name is My name is Jose Ponce. I'm sorry. Yeah. Our speaking is pretty good. And, uh, 
I I mean thinking in that is hell a lot of oh, oh, no need that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have experience for talking with you guys. I don't I don't have you know but maybe I try and I see I I uh, my point is this I see a lot of young people uh, young people and adult people the people okay the people don't buy uh, uh, wheat because the people he said uh, the uh, uh, the people thinking in soccer or thinking in basketball or thinking in uh, football. You know, this is my point for uh, start the drugs and the young people and the adult people too. This is my point and I see that. So, and today uh, I come in and explain this, and explain this because the sports help a lot the, the people, the poor people. Uh, I don't have money for pay. Because, I mean, thinking maybe with, with the city getting more uh, tournaments, it, maybe the people interest more in mesquite because it's a good sport and good everything. It's coming more people, see? And maybe it's, in, I don't know, I don't know in how many, maybe in one year or six months, or, or depending with the people interest in mesquite, it's a time for up the price in the fields, you know? I don't know right now, I don't know, I don't have an idea right now because, you know, it's not too many people come, you know, it, only thinking and that, and, and I try and explain that in the community, the restaurants, and the, the Mexican restaurants, and the, uh, the Latino community, is interested, and, and it's, uh, hey, who people grab my letter and go asking the, the city manager, or the, and I mean, I mean feel, Really bad because I employ, I'm 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 employed for the city, you know, and it's hard for me because I don't know which size, and I think it's too for the poor people too. It's not, it's not easy for uh, the Latinos people pay uh, pay money, the signs or something for. Uh, I see that, and, and I go and I give them one dollar for the lights or something. The people is hard. You say I don't have money. See one dollar, see, when. And, and coming more and more people, more people, and more, more tournaments, maybe the people have more work, maybe made more money. That's easy for the city. It's okay. This is my point. Thank you very much.